I got my iced coffee, pouring the milk in the iced coffee. Yes, I love me. I love me some. Mm, mm. Iced coffee. Hey guys, didn't see you stand in there. This is just really good. Um, let's start church. Happy Sunday, everyone. I hope you guys had a wonderful Easter. We did. The sun was out. We loved it. We loved watching service online with our family. Well, kind of with our family. Watch parties and all that jazz. It was really special. And it was fun hanging out with you guys. A lot of you have done the Easter egg hunt. And you know what the best thing about having stuff online is like if you missed the Easter egg hunt, you didn't really miss it because you can just go online and find the Easter egg video. Pretty neat. So today, this whole week actually, but today specifically, we're going to be talking about it. But this week I've been reflecting. So last week, the grave was empty, right? We talked about that. And it's a pretty awesome thing. And I've just been reflecting on the awesomeness of God and how God is so awesome. So that's what we're going to talk about, okay? So I hope you guys are doing well. I hope the sunshine this week has been treating you. I'm gonna pray. I want you to pause, grab your friends. And by friends, I mean whoever's in your house. Grab your parents, grab your dog, grab your brothers, grab your sisters and pray together. I'm gonna pray real quick. Jesus, I thank you that it's a sunny day. I thank you for Sunday. Lord, I pray that any sickness that is affecting families, that are affecting friends, Lord, that you would heal them instantly. Holy Spirit, show up in their house. Show them how awesome and mighty you are because you are an awesome God. Amen. Now this is the time for Tony Tell Um, Tell them what? What's up, everybody? It's me, Tony. I'm here in my car right now. I'm not going to tell you where. But I heard Reba is asking, what's so awesome about God? And I want to tell you guys where I find out about how awesome God is. And there's two places that I look. One of those places is Genesis 1. 1. The first few words of Genesis, actually goes like this. In the beginning, God. Wow, right? In the beginning, God. Just let, just think about that for a while. Just think about, you know, you know, it's not before, it, it's in the beginning, there was God, the uncreated God, the creator of all. Wow. Wow. The second place I go to find out about how awesome God is, is in Job. Job 39. Um, and it's like Job 39 to uh, 41, or is it 38 to 41? There's a couple chapters in Job where God is talking to Job because Job is kind of struggling with a few things. And in verse 39, it talks about something you guys probably have heard about, and it's pretty simple. Um, but it talks about, well, I'll just read it for you guys. Here it is. Chapter 39, verse 19. Do you give the horse his might? Do you clothe his neck with a mane? Do you make him leap like the locusts? His majestic snorting is terrifying. He paws in the valley and exalts his strength. He goes out to meet the weapons. I mean, that's just talking about a horse. And God goes on and on and on about different things. And, um, yeah. I, I'm feeling like I'm going to go find a horse now. Well, everybody, I found a farm. And some farmers. A real live cowboy. Cowgirl. Another cowgirl. And we're... Another cowboy. And uh, and we found some horses. So we're going to go check them out. Oh, the yeah. horses are coming to meet us. 
Um, they're not little. I think they're that large one, horses. Yeah, that one. This should be good. Watch your step. Please. You might want to get that on video. If, uh... <laughs> Do you remember in that passage I read you guys how it talks about the horse's mane and his snorting? He's checking out the camera right now. That's awesome. I can kind of feel his tongue on one of my fingers. Ew. Wow, guys, that was super fun. Just remember, you can find the awesomeness of God everywhere. He created this world. And so remember, God is awesome. So as Mr. Tony said, that we're going to talk about the awesomeness of God. So I thought to myself, what better person to talk about the awesomeness of God than an awesome person I know? And you guys may recognize her too. My dear friend, Samantha Lar. Hi guys. Samantha, do you want to say anything to your friends while in quarantine? Yeah. Um, so I know this time, these times might be tough. You might feel bored all the time, and you're just lying on the floor or watching a show all day. Um, but instead of being bored, you can use all this time to do something productive mm. or learn how to do something new. Like, I learned how to sew, and I learned chess. Cool. And I've just been learning a lot more. I love it. Those are some good quarantine tips. I think I'm gonna. I'm trying to learn how to sew too. I sewed face masks, but I didn't do a very good job. <laughs> I didn't either. <laughs> awesome. So I asked Samantha to answer three questions. So the first question is, why does she think God is so awesome? Um, God is an awesome designer. Mm -hmm. He designed each and every one of us to be unique. No one is the same, not even identical twins or snowflakes. I love that. So how, what, how would you present that to your friends and say, tell them why, how God is so awesome? Um, you could ask them, why are you unique? Hmm. Um, like one thing for me. One thing that makes me unique is, so, yeah, I go to sleep, right? And then I'm just not tired. Mm. So I get out of bed, open my door, go to my dad's, my dad and mom's room, and then I say, I'm not tired. He says, okay, well, go count sheep. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. I go to sleep, try to count sheep like I've tried a million times before. But that just makes me more energetic because I start wondering, mm -hmm. what shape are they? What color are they? <laughs> How big are they? I like that. That's funny. <laughs> and God made me unique like that. And God made you special in your own way. I love that. That's true. Maybe something our friends could think about at home is how God made them unique. That's something you could do in quarantine. <laughs> and, then, and then our last question I asked Samantha is, what if someone doesn't think God is awesome or doesn't want to hear about the awesomeness of God? What would you say to them or what would you do? Um, so my response would be, well, I mean, you can't force someone to love God. Mm. Like, lots of parents force the, try to force their kids to love vegetables. Does it work? No. Um, but 
But you, one thing you can do is share your testimony. You can share it, and that might help open their eyes to make them see, like, what God has done in their lives. Mm. And if that doesn't work, you can also pray to God and ask and ask Him to open their eyes for them. And maybe then they'll see how awesome God is. That's awesome. Pun intended. <laughs> um, thank you, Samantha, for being here today. I love the, the answers that you gave, gave us. And I, I hope that my friends at home take what Samantha has and put them to practice. Because I think Samantha has some really wise things that she shared. So thanks for being here, Samantha. We love you and thanks we miss you. Thanks for inviting me. Woohoo! Wow. Okay, guys, so we have a lot of things to think about today. So, Mr. Tony, first of all, how cool is it that we got to see horses, real-life horses? I love horses. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when I see horses, I get teary-eyed. I know you guys might kind of laugh, but Mr. Tony's right. It reminds you and points to the awesomeness of God. And it reminds me of what Samantha says. It reminds me that God is an awesome designer. See, in Job... 39 19 God is asking the question to Job do you give the horse its might his might God gives the horse his might we don't God did that so it's kind of just reminds me of what what Samantha was saying is God is a great designer everything is good and is perfect is from is from God and he created awesome things so when we look at things and when we see things we can even the simplest of things it could be as, as majestic as a horse, as, as simple as sunshine. I'm so, I'm so excited. Actually, I don't know if sunshine is that simple because of the sun rays and the science and all that jazz, but it could be as simple as how excited I was about my iced coffee today. All, all good things are from God, right? And the awesomeness of it. And today we learned about things of, of ways we can share God's awesomeness. And what we can do when someone says, God's not that awesome. We pray. And so we pray and we praise. We pray for God, God's awesomeness and God's goodness to be shown to all we know, to every, to those who know him, to those who don't know him, even to ourselves daily. God, show me, show me how you're working. Show me your awesomeness. I want my eyes to be open to your perfect design. And then we also praise God. You know, praise God, he created these awesome horses. We thank God that he created such majestic beings. But also let's praise and thank God that he created us just as we are and be grateful for who he created us to be. And maybe if you're having a hard time being grateful for who God designed you to be and finding the awesomeness in yourself, you know, ask God, God, how did you create me? How did you design me? Because oftentimes, sometimes it's needing, we need to know more of how much God loves us in order to see his awesomeness, right? And that's inviting him into our hearts. Andrea and Tony talked about this on Good Friday, inviting God into your, into your hearts because he came on the cross to be with us. We get to experience his awesomeness because he died on the cross and our eyes get to be open to it when we invite them into our hearts. So that's what, what we're going to pause on today and reflect on the awesomeness of God, of having our eyes open. Maybe it's taking a walk. I mean, because a lot of you probably can't drive like Mr. Tony. But find something awesome and, and reflect on it. And ask God, how did you design it? Like Samantha said. You know, or pray for someone who doesn't think God is awesome. Like Samantha suggested. I love you guys. I hope you have a good Sunday, and we'll see you next next week. And look out for your midweek challenge because they're coming towards you. We love you.